What's up guys? Today I'm doing a quick little review of another AMT Erdo model kit. And here today I've got the uh, Enterprise D from Star Trek The Next Generation. And this kit here was released uh, back in 1994. And this is the one, uh, the D with the uh, fiber optic lighting included with her. So uh, I think, that, I believe this is one of the first uh, models that came with the uh, fiber optic lighting uh, kits back in... Uh, back in the 90s but uh yeah so I just picked this one up today so this will be my next uh build up uh of uh, AMT Ertl's uh Star Trek kit and let's go ahead and uh, take a look at the box package real quick you get a nice um picture here of the model and with the USS Enterprise with the fiber optic lights and then this one also it comes uh with over 2000 uh, inches of fiber optic optic filament a 6 volt, uh, volt D, uh, DC power source uh, requires 4C batteries. It also has a micro drill, and uh, the micro drill is probably for drilling on all the little uh, window uh, ports or holes for the lighting. Um, I do believe this model kit, uh, like the others, uh, is not uh, cut up with the windows uh, pre assembled, so you're going to have to do it yourself and that's what this model uh, this little micro drill is in there for and then you got a power source jack and wire 12 light sources and four chrome reflective strips and then of course battery's not included all right so quickly like, take a look at the, the box packaging and got some pictures there of the D all lit up to skill level three and then as you can see this is uh, model number 8772 other side of the box and then all right got this one the standard uh different uh, uh trademarks and telling you a little bit about the ship in different in different languages all right so uh yeah nice uh nice size model kit here uh, this one's probably gonna measure around uh, the D around 16 uh, inches uh, long, so it's a pretty good size kit. All right, let's go ahead and take a look in there, and all right, so we got instructions, and we got a few sheets here. This one here is gonna be for uh, the decals, and then we open that up. Yeah, and we got some. Uh, these are the stock decals that came with the kit. Of course, I'm not going to use these. I'm going to uh, pick up some aftermarket decals from uh, JT Graphics. And you can see this one's, you know, nine, it's a 1994 set. These are the uh, stock original decals. And the decal papers, with the age, is starting to turn a little uh, yellow there. But... Uh, Look, they actually still look pretty good. You could probably still use these, but uh, I'm not going to use it on my particular kit. And then we got here, okay, these are those uh, re reflective strips. Uh, I guess you put these guys inside the body, and it's going to help distribute the light on the inside of the model. All right. Micro position drill bit. Yeah, so this one, this model kit does come with a a uh, a little uh, a micro drill. So I guess this is just a little uh, pamphlet here to order some more uh, of the drill bits if if you need to. All right, another little pamphlet distributor, and then we've got the back of the of of this uh, first the instruction sheet. And this tells about the wiring. All your different bulbs you get included. Two for the brassards. You get eleven for the engines and two for that. Two for the bridge area, I guess. So yeah, so the decals on the front. We got the electrical wiring in the back. Some more decal. Uh, Diagram sheet there, and then also a side view of the of the D. Got the decals for the different uh, 
side insignia as, as well as you've got the, the decals for the, the thrusters on the saucer section so that's the first sheet of instructions you've got a this one here is gonna be I guess let me go what this is the first sheet of the instructions just showing just the basic uh, little bio of the enterprise on the first sheet and then you've got the rest of the instructions like so so you get three large uh, instruction sheets with the uh, with the D and tells you about how to do all the wiring so this uh, model kit here is going to be a lot more uh, uh, work that's going to go with this kit um, especially with all the fiber optic uh, wiring that you got to do uh, there's going to be a lot of drilling um, like I said that uh, you're going to have to drill out all the little windows on this kit so this one's going to be a little more labor intensive compared to the other kits I've uh, I've made so far so this one's going to be a pretty good, uh, pretty good challenge but we'll see how it goes so yeah so you got the three instruction sheets there and then now you've got um, all of the, the pieces let's just go ahead and quickly look through here and we got uh, some of the clear blue pieces for the, for the uh, nacelles another clear piece I think this is an inner lighting uh, housing that's gonna help distribute the lights in the nacelles as well and we got the top and bottom part of the secondary hull yeah so as you can see you're gonna have to uh, I'm gonna have to drill out a lot, a lot of these little holes here to get that the window lighting all right next uh, tree has the stand some other pieces here and then we've got the neck and I'm gonna have to drill out a lot of holes in here as well to get some of the lighting features there then we've got one of the nacelles another stand piece okay then here we, all right we've got another top part of the the neck a lot of detail on this piece as well and then we've got here some more of the smaller pieces and another part of the second other part of the nacelle and then looks like uh, this kind of broke off here but that's the brassard collector piece and what they is good is that it's already uh, colored so I don't have to paint that and then I've got the saucer section pretty nice size saucer section and then we got some other pieces here that have come off but another Broussard collector there and then this one is uh, looks to be the battery uh, casing I believe yep so you got the your, your battery uh, housing there with the, your plug so that's the battery case and then we've got here um, some wiring this is the it's kinda hard to see but this is that this is the fiber optic wiring here so you got that little package here oh these are all the light bulbs and there and there got a couple of switches so this is the switches to turn the power source on and then this is the the drill that comes with it and it does work so I guess this is a drill that comes with it I'm not sure if I'm gonna use this uh, or how good this thing's gonna work out um, I got my I've got my Dremel so I'll probably use my Dremel I think that's gonna be a lot 
a little safer bet as far as drilling, doing some precision drilling. I'm not sure. This is just a, a cheapo uh, drill that's included with the kit. But uh, we'll see how it works out. I mean, uh, it has like a nice little drill bit there. It's a, so yeah, I'm just probably try and test it out on some pieces to see if it, it works out. But uh, all right, guys. So yeah, that's my uh, next uh, build, Enterprise D, the light up fiber optics kit. So uh, hopefully uh, I'll get uh, get this one started soon. Um, I'm still currently doing my refit Enterprise. Uh, I'm actually waiting for uh, some of the, the uh, my paints for that one to come in, and as soon as I get those paints in, I can uh, start uh, finishing up on the refit uh, light kit as well. But uh, so, anyways, guys, this is uh, my little quick review of the Enterprise D with the fiber optics kit. Like I said, this is uh, my next build, so I'll have this one uh, hopefully. Uh, uh, up it, up and running soon on my next uh, video build ups but uh, alright if you have any comments or questions about this particular model kit uh, or uh, you have any advice for me please let me know okay thanks for watching guys